So my mum, my sister and I went for a walk yesterday. Well, my mum didn't actually walk for us because she has a broken ankle and my dog is only allowed out for 10 minutes of exercise a day at the moment. It's like his rest because he has an injury. But he also has, also has arthritis. He's had that for quite a while now. He's 30, 13 this month. But he started walking funny, like dragging his right leg along the floor. So we took him to the vet and it turns out that he actually has no cartilage in his left knee, which is strange because it's his right knee that he's dragging. Sorry about that, my camera just died as I was filming. But yeah, I had the day off work yesterday and I've also got all next week off because I had holiday to use up. So I thought, just take the last week of January off. And thinking about vlog next week, I've got my new bed coming. I'll show you that even when it comes because my phone's on charge. I think about Thursday it will come. Hopefully, fingers crossed anyway, hopefully it comes whilst I'm off so I can sort it all out. I want to show you guys my new shoes that I picked up. Now, oh my god, these were harder to get than Justin Bieber One Direction tickets. No joke, I'm not even joking. So I entered five raffles, didn't win a single one, and then tried to get them on Nike, Foot Locker website, pff, hopeless. Um, tried to get them on Nike and didn't get them on there, and then office i somehow managed to get them literally was clicking add to basket 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 they finally added then i got through to check out and i kept going oh error with your card error with your card so i tried like, every single one of my cards obviously even though it wasn't my card and then i just kept trying and trying and trying and then eventually went through and i was like okay i'm not gonna think i've got them until i get the dispatch email i think they're my favorite shoes that i own and they are these dunks like oh my god can we just literally obsessed with them these are so hard to get because people resell them for ridiculous amounts of money they're like 85 90 pounds to buy and people resell them for like 300 pounds plus i feel like i've gone a bit shoe crazy lately because i've bought three pairs of trainers but in all fairness two of them were on sale and these ones i actually saw september october time i saw these in selfridges and i was like oh my god i really like them picked them up and i was 100 pounds okay put them back take a picture of them look online just kept checking Places and they had gone into a sale in a few places and they were about like £60 and then I randomly checked and they came up on foot patrol for like £28 and I was like okay I'm getting them and they're the Adidas Response CL so they're really really comfy so just like navy mesh here with this green I just love the colourway with some silver here looks like it would be reflective to be honest absolute friggin bargain I'm literally I'm the best for finding deals and bargains I said to myself now no more shoes because I actually don't have anywhere to put them so yeah, I'm so excited that like I'm finally going to be like starting to sort my room out. I need more clothes storage, so I'm thinking of that corner there. I need to think what I'm going to do with it, and I need to sort shoe storage out as well. So I'm going to start looking. Everything in my room now is from when I was like obsessed with pink. I'm just going to be like getting rid of little bits and just like buying new bits. I need to have, basically, I need to have a massive clear up, but I'm I'm the worst for clear outs ever because I'm like, oh, what if I need that one day? I'm so excited for my bed to come. I've gone ottoman. I've never had an ottoman before, but I thought I keep so much stuff under my bed. Like I think it will just make my room look a little bit tidier and neater with an ottoman. And it also doesn't have an end, which is what I wanted. But yeah, I'll tell you more about it when it comes and like explain to you what I want to do and everything, which will probably be in next week's vlog. Sorry guys, I just had to leave my camera on charge, but it's Saturday evening tonight and Saturdays have turned into my little self-care pamper evening and oh, i wouldn't have it any other way i've heard that zinc is supposed to be good for hormonal acne and i've seen that zinc, their zinc is pseudochrome and apparently that's meant to be good for hormonal acne but i'm also going to get some zinc supplements i've seen that boots sell them so i'm going to get them from there i feel like these are the og like quarantine vlogs lockdown first lockdown vlogs because i was always having self-care pam pamper evenings there and like doing my um foot baths so i'm not going to do tonight i'm just going to put a foot mask on but that is the best thing having a foot bath and then putting a foot mask on i did my nails this is what i did it's kind of like a bright green with like the dark green stripes on really really like them but i did them downstairs with my mom whilst we watched the mask singer and then we watched the voice down there as well i normally don't watch the voice but we watched the first episode all together because my brother worked in it so his name was going to be in the credits so like, i will watch it to see them and then i don't think i watched a week after that and then I think I've watched the last two weeks. So ignore that mess on my dressing table. I haven't cleared up from when I got ready to film earlier. Okay, I'm going to put a face mask on. I'm going to put a sheet one on. I don't actually know which. I've got quite... Where are they? These are the eye patches that I got from Primark. I use them on New Year's Eve. They're really, really nice. My sister told me to get these. I'm definitely going to be picking some more when Primark is open again. Can you see how much product is actually on here? I literally saw someone squeezing it all out and there's so much... Oh my god, it's so 
cold. I'm just going to take my jade roller now because I've literally seen people do this. I'm going to look so friggin' scary. Look at me. Oh my god. Look how much product is left on my face. After doing that, I'm just going to rub it in because it said you can do that. I'm really enjoying the missing. I know it's quite an old series, but I've never heard of it before. This lockdown, I've watched The Cry, which I liked. Watch The Serpent. Love that. So good. If you haven't watched that, you need to watch it. most pathetic snow ever it by about two o'clock gone it might as well have not snowed because it got my hopes up and it was rubbish i was actually upset like i thought oh I'll go out later in the snow and it'd be really nice and it didn't happen but um my mum and i actually went through her clothes we were gonna do it yesterday but time it just escaped us so we went through it today some of it is actually for the wash i'll just show you this because oh my god all right i've tried it all on and i'm a bit friggin set. The first dress is this stunning dress, floral dress. It's got these weird dangly bits, you can see it there, which we're gonna cut off because it kind of looks like a tail. And um, it obviously was what was in fashion then. I feel like I'm not doing it any justice, showing it like this. This is just like a grey knit skirt, which I thought was nice, like midi length, kind of like the ones that you get in Primark. And then I also have another one in green. This one's a little bit shorter than that one. And it just has like this gold zip down the front which I thought was nice I've never really been like a knitted skirt kind of person but I actually tried one on when was it? from Primark I can't remember what it was and I really liked it on me and this I think is one of my favourites that I found it's so so nice it's from a place called Planet pretty sure most of my mum said she got it in John Lewis it's got like these like double ropey straps this on holiday not that we're going on holiday anytime soon just be stunning and it's got like this asymmetric hem so it goes like that honestly it is so nice again i'll sh probably show you this on um next week or something because again i don't feel like i'm doing any justice like that but it's stunning and then there are a few other bits like this um like longer knitted dress and then another one that she made the straps need to be made longer on i've got such a banging headache today i think i might be dehydrated because you know when you just forget to drink water that's what's happened today i think i'm really dehydrated so i'm gonna go and fill this up again because i literally just got that down i fell asleep so early last night and forgot to finish the vlog so i'm gonna finish it here thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it please do give this video a thumbs up um as it really does help me out and yeah i'll see you all in my next video bye